Let's draw the electron configuration diagram for phosphorus. To be completely honest, I don't care what element it is until, I, until I've drawn the basic diagram. It always starts with 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, and it goes on like that. Now I know that that's gonna be enough for me, but you're allowed to continue that upward as far as you want. All the S's have one slash, all the P's have three slashes, and all the D's have five slashes. Each slash holds two electrons. Phosphorus, element number 15, needs 15 electrons total. So let's just start filling it up. You go from the bottom up, that's the Aufbau principle, and you have one up, one down in each of these orbitals. That's the Pauli exclusion principle. Three, four, five, six, seven. And you spread them out before you double any up. That's the uh, Huns rule. Anyways, that's seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I basically didn't need to include that 3D stuff or that 4S stuff, but hey, that's why I work in pencil when I'm doing things in real life. Here's your electron configuration diagram for phosphorus. You're welcome. Do you want to know how I memorized the order that these went in? Yes, I have a method for that. The answer is list all of your S's from one up to like seven vertically like this. Then starting with two, in the same row, list the P's right beside that. 3P, 4P, 5P, 6P, 7P, etc. Next to that, do the D's, but the D's start at three. See how we're getting this nice diagonal forming here? Then you got your 4D, your 5D, your 6D, etc. And then your F's start at four. 5F, 6F, I've never seen a 6F in my entire life. But hey, that's how it's gonna be. And then draw diagonal lines through each of these. You got 1s, see? 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, then 4p, then 5s. Remember, the d's hold five slashes, the p's hold three, the s's hold one. 4D, 5P, 6S, 4F, 5D, 6P, 7S, etc., etc., etc. It's called the order of filling, and this is just how some people memorize it, okay? Anyways, you came for the electron configuration diagram for phosphorus. It's always the same starting diagram, then you just fill it up with however many electrons you need. Great? Great. Thanks for being with me. Best of luck.